reason to shout. So, what did you and Astra do after I went home last night? I don't know, what time did you leave? Right after I convinced you two not to streak the putt-putt course. <laughs> oh, right. Well, first we streak the putt-putt course. <laughs> don't worry, I don't think Father O'Malley recognized me. <laughs> Although he did say high faith. <laughs> Anyway, we wound up at this bar, and this crazy Swedish women's volleyball team showed up, and one thing led to another, and we wound up playing this great game called Flugen. Flugen? Yeah. First you roll the dice, then whatever number you land on, you drink that many shots. I don't think I get it. I know, the rules are hard to understand at first, especially if you're the Schlingman. So, where's Astrid? She's still sleeping. I'm sure she'll be down in a minute. Good morning. Hey, sounds like you two had quite a night. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> Faith? Yes? Where's Astrid? She's right in front of you. No, she's not. <sighs> no wonder she put up such a fight when I tried to drag her into the cab. You bring home the wrong Swede. Do I need to explain the rules of Flugen again? <gasps> I can't believe you did this to me. Charlie's mother already hates me for ruining Andrew's last wedding. Well, maybe he'll like this one better. She's younger. She'll probably last longer. Faith, where is Astrid? Hostel. Oh, no, sweetie, we're not hostile. We just have a wedding in two hours and no bride. She's talking about a youth hostel. It's a hotel for foreign travelers. Oh, we should check it out. Maybe Astrid is staying there.